let's talk about hash sets, hash set, and the hash map. Uh, these are two data structures from the collections library in Java that are very, very useful. OK, so the first thing is that you can ignore the word hash. That's a whole other lecture. So basically, the hash set is a set uh, from math, right? So that's the metaphor. If you remember, a set in math is you know a collection of objects. And the, the one important thing to keep in mind is that a set has no duplicates. So for example, if you have a set of numbers, I add the number 1 to it the number two to it, the number three to it, then I add the number two to it, and it's still only going to contain one, two, and three. So it will not have more than one copy of any one object. Uh, so let's start with that one. Uh, I'm going to build a hash set, and then I have to tell it a hash set of what? So I'm going to go with integer. Hash set of integers, uh, let's say those are phone. Uh, phones is a new hash set of integer. And then I gotta import the hash set from Java util, right? So I have to, to import Java util dot hash set. And now I have a set of integers. So, which I say the phones, I said, and uh, I can then add phones numbers, or really I can add any integer. Um, five, 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 one, two, three, four. And, and I can add phones dot add, uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And I can print that out and run that. And you'll see it prints out the set of those two phone numbers. Uh, to demonstrate, if I add the same phone number twice, or three times, or however many, I'm going to run that, and you see the set still contains just two elements. So that's the thing about set. Uh, it, uh, it will ignore, it basically ignores this. Ignores, ignores multiples. And this is very, very useful when you want to, you, you know, uniquify. I made up that word, but uh, when you want to uniquify your data, so say you're reading from a file and it's got all these phone numbers and some of them are repeated, but you know you really don't care. You just want a, a file. You want to extract all the unique phone numbers. You got a set, right? You, you're just going to use the set. You're going to add each phone number as you read it, and if you know if the phone number happens to be there already, nothing's going to happen, and the program is going to keep going, right? So it's very, very useful for that. Uh, what else? So it's got other methods, pretty standard stuff, like uh, you can clear, right? Removes all the elements uh, if you're done. Um, you can uh, remove particular elements. So you add a phone number, you can remove a phone number, you can get its size, you can turn it into an array with the two array method into a string. We're already using the toString method right here when we printed it out. Uh, so you can turn it into a string, and this is what it's going to look like exactly, uh, etc. Let's just, uh, I'm going to try the remove method. So I added those three times. I'm going to try to remove it now. Remove. Run that. Now you see it only has one element. Because uh, I added three, I only added one. And then I uh, removed that one. I could now, uh, if I move this there, the add to after the remove, then we should get back to two elements. OK, so that's the set. And it's pretty st standard, uh, just like the array list. You see, I'm using a capital I integer here. You cannot use, into, uh, you know, built-in methods. Uh, um, I'm sorry, primitive types. So int will not work because it is a primitive type. Uh, so you have to use classes uh, like integer. But you know that's pretty uh, because this number gets automatically converted to an integer. It's not that big a deal. Uh, okay, then map. So the hash map. 
Uh, that one is more interesting. It stores key value pairs, right? So, for example, if we wanted to store, say, a list of uh, people and their phone numbers, so I could build a hash map of, uh, let's say, the person's name is going to be a string and the phone number is going to be an integer. And then uh, we'll call this the uh, directory, you know, like a phone directory. Uh, is a new hash map string comma integer like that. I have to again include import the hash map. Let me close this. So you see, I just imported Java util hash map, and now it works. And then I can do directory dot add. Uh, I'm sorry directory.put and the name um, Professor Layton and then his phone number which is going to be 555-1221 and then I can print that out and you'll see if I print out the directory what it looks like it looks like that uh, there's a key equals and its value. Let me add a couple other ones. Uh, I'm gonna go with Larry. Larry is five 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 five. Larry and Mo is going to be. Like it could be the same number, doesn't matter. Run that, and you see the directory has a key and a value, key and a value, key and a value. So it, it's kind of like an array, except that in, whereas an array, you know, you can only index with an integer. Uh, you can say a of zero, a of one. With a map, you can index with anything, right? So I can the the index in this case is a string. Uh, it could be, you know, an object, it could be an integer, it could be a double, whatever you want. Uh, so similarly, and then I can get stuff now. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do directory, direct, directory, dot, get, and I can get, you know, Mo's phone number, Mo. So the last thing it's going to print out is Mo's phone number. Let me just uh, you know, change that there so you can see it's really Mo, right? Um, so I can, this is very useful, I can store by name and I can get uh, then by that key. Um, so that's the hash map and by far the hash map is probably the most useful data structure or at least the most commonly used data structure in most of the programs. Almost every program needs this kind of hash map. You almost always need to store, you know, a bunch of data and you need to index by either a string or a number, social security number or the name or a URL or something and you need to get information about that person. Um, one last thing is I want to show you that um, you can, uh, these things can be nested, right? So this is an object. It doesn't have to be a built-in. So you can do, let's say you wanted to have a list and uh, you wanted to have a list of people and their friends, right? So I'm going to store the name of the person as a string and the set of friends, I want that to be a set. So I want it to be a hash, hash set of string. So I'm going to call that, uh, you know, people is new and uh, this whole thing again. All right. So now I have my people there and I say people, uh, Alice 
Uh, well, I'm going to need to define um, my uh, Alice's friends first. So hash string, hash, <laughs> sorry, hash set of string. Uh, the Alice's friend is a new hash set of string. And I'm going to set her friends.add. So Alice is going to be friends with Bob. And uh, Alice is going to be friends with uh, uh, Carl. And then people.alice.add friends. People. Dot put and Alice and her friends there. Gotta put that there. Yeah, closing quote there. So you see what we did? I created uh, first the people directory, right? So this is gonna have a, a mapping from names to sets of friends or sets of strings. And then here I'm defining uh, a, uh, I forgot the new here. Uh, and then this is gonna be friends. So here I am defining the friends uh, to be uh, just a set of strings. And then I'm gonna add Bob and Carl, two friends in that set. And then I'm gonna say Alice's friends are Bob and Carl. And let's just print that out there at the end. So you can see the people directory. I run that, it says Alice has friends, which are Carl and Bob. And I can add that so I can then do stuff like, you know, Alice has those friends and maybe, maybe Leighton also has the same friends as Alice. So now Leighton and Alice both have the same friends. Uh, they could have different sets of friends, right? Uh, if I just create another one of these. Uh, Layton friends is an empty string, and then Layton friends dot add is you know the boy. I don't know his name. Um, and then this is gonna have to be Layton friends. And when I print that out, it says Alice has Colin, Bob Layton has the boy. Um, Wait, and there it is. Uh, you have to be careful um, with this because remember, this is only putting a reference to the friends. So if you, if I, if I did put friends there, and they both have the same set of friends, and then I went ahead and did friends dot remove, and I'm gonna remove Bob. Uh, it's going to remove it from both of them, right? Because they both have the same set of friends. So there you go.